the compounds formed by the transfer of electron from metal to non-metal are known as ionic compounds. Cations are positively charged ions and anions are negatively charged ions. Being oppositely charged, there is an electrostatic force of attraction between them. This force of attraction between cation and anion is called as the ionic bond. The electrostatic attraction in the neighboring ions with opposite charges is very strong. So, the melting points of ionic compounds are very high. The ionic compounds are hard and brittle. Ionic compounds are crystalline in nature. The surfaces of all the particles of a crystalline substance have a definite shape and are smooth and shiny. The regular arrangement of ions in solid ionic compounds is responsible for their crystalline nature. Size of the positively and negatively charged ions and the magnitude of the electrical charge on the ions are two important factors responsible for a certain crystalline structure. Properties of Ionic Compounds To learn about the properties of ionic compounds, let us perform the following activity. Take a sample of sodium chloride, potassium iodide, barium chloride. Take small amount of sample on a metal spatula and heat directly on the flame. Repeat this with other samples. Try to dissolve the samples in water, petrol and kerosene. Are they soluble? These are soluble in water but insoluble in petrol and kerosene. Make a circuit as shown. Insert the two electrodes into the solution of one salt. What do you see? Is the lamp glowing? Yes, it conducts electricity through the solution. You may have observed the general properties of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds are solid and are somewhat hard because of the strong force of attraction between the positive and the negative ions. These compounds are generally brittle and break into pieces when pressure is applied. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points. This is because a considerable amount of energy is required to break the intermolecular force of attraction. Ionic compounds are generally soluble in water and insoluble in solvents such as kerosene and petrol. The conduction of electricity through the solution involves the movement of charged particles. A solution of ionic compound in water contains ions which move to the opposite electrodes when electricity is passed through it. Ionic compounds in solid state do not conduct electricity because the movement of ions in solids is not possible due to their rigid structure. But ionic compounds conduct electricity in the molten state since the electrostatic forces of attraction between the oppositely charged ions are overcome due to heat. Thus, the ions move freely and conduct electricity. Thank you.